So this time we have another talent contest where we've got two more judges, C and D. They're awarding scores out of 20 for eight contestants. We're going to test at the 1% level to determine whether there is evidence to suggest a positive association between the two judges' scores. So the first thing that we need to do is work out Spearman's rank correlation coefficient for this data. So we're going to need to rank the scores of C and D. We're going to have to work out the difference and the difference squared. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we've got the eight. Okay. So we're going to rank C first then. Um, let's go in uh, with 20 being the strongest then. So 20 comes in first. Then we've got the 19, which is second. Then we've got the 16, so that's going to be third. Then we've got the 13, which is going to be fourth. Then we've got the 11, which is going to be fifth. Then we've got the 8, which is going to be sixth. Then seventh for seven, and then five is eighth. Okay, now for D, we've got the 18 coming in first. Uh, we've got the 17 next, so that's coming in second. Then we've got 15, so that's third. Then we've got the 13, so that's fourth. Then we're going to have the 9, which is going to be fifth. Then the 7, so sixth. Seventh, eighth. Okay. Right, let's uh, find D then, the difference between the ranks. So minus one, zero, one, zero, minus one, zero, one, zero. Squaring each of those, we're going to get one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero. So the sum of D squared is four. So that means that the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient is going to be 1 take away 6 lots of 4 over 8 times by 8 squared take away 1, so 63. So 1 take away 6 times 4 over 8 times 63. So I'm getting 0 point. Nine five two to three significant figures. Okay. Right then. So now the hypothesis test. So we start off with H zero. There is no association between the scores of the two judges. The alternative hypothesis uh, is because we're looking at a positive association. So there is a positive association or some, some positive association between the scores of the two judges. OK, so then we need to find the critical value. For n equals 8, the 1% critical value, because we're looking at a 1% significance level, is... So we go to page 12 of the formula booklet on the right-hand side. So we're going for a one-tail test at 1%, and n is 8 is 0.8333. So if you like to draw a number line, so 0.833 is there. 
So that is my critical region. And 0.952 is somewhere in there. So that means, because it's in the critical region, we need to reject the null hypothesis. So 0.952 is greater than 0.8333. So we can state that the result is significant. So we reject H0 and say there is evidence to suggest that there is some positive association between the scores of the two judges. Okay, so that's how we can do the hypothesis test in this case.